hey guys, I've seen some crazy offers on social media for the number one pick, which eventually will become Kate Cunningham for the Detroit Pistons. I want to come on here and just talk about these trades, these rumors, which are ridiculous. But it's always fun to entertain them and just talk about them. So without further ado, let's get to it. Boy, this first one that I'm going to talk about is really ridiculous because no way in hell if I'm the Pistons, I make this trade. So the Orlando Magic are calling the Pistons and saying, we're going to give you number five, number eight, and RJ Hampton. You got to give us number one and Sekou Dumboya, which, uh, let's be honest, this is not happening. The Pistons are keeping Kate Cunningham. They don't care about... Said cool, but RJ Hampton is just not enough to land the number one pick, number five pick, number eight pick. I don't see as enough to land the number one pick. So this rumor is beyond ridiculous. And if you're a Pistons fan, which I'm not, you can't do anything but laugh at this. Like, it's crazy to me, man. Let's talk about the second one that I saw. This one, I would say, is the best one. It's still a no for the Pistons. Cleveland calls them, and they offer Darius Garland and the number three pick for the number one pick. Now, it just depends if the Pistons are high on Evan Mobley or Jalen Green, because... If that's the case, then this could make a little bit of sense. You get a nice point guard in Darius Garland. You can still play Garland along with Killian Hayes. And you get a big man at number three, which will probably be Evan Mobley. So I see the thought process behind this. I still say no if I'm the Pistons. I want Kate Cunningham on my team. That's what would happen. But this one, to me, is the best one and the most fair one. The rest to me are just ridiculous. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, this one's just ridiculous from the Thunder's perspective. No way in hell am I giving up Shea Gugas Alexander, a star in the league already, only 23 years old, or 22 years old, I'm not sure, but he's young, for Cade, who I love, by the way, but he has also not proven a single thing in the NBA. So I'm not going to predicate my entire future, give up Shea and the number six pick for Kate Cunningham, which I love, but I get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not giving up a young star to potentially try and get and hope that Kate is a young star in the future when I already have a young star. If anything, I would try to put Cade and Shea together but to trade Shea for Cade is just ridiculous. To me, if I'm the Pistons, it's a hell yeah, I'm making that deal in a heartbeat. But if I'm the Thunder, no way in hell do I make that deal. I'm sorry. This one is ridiculous. No way in hell if I'm the Pistons, I say yes to this. I don't want James Wiseman, okay? I don't want number seven and number 14 for Cade Cunningham. I'm not gonna let the Warriors just continue to become a dynasty and put Steph Clay, Draymond, and Kate on the same team. I'd be okay with that if they were giving me up some better, right? But they're not. I'm not high on Wiseman. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. Like, I like number seven, I like number 14, but it's still not enough value to trade away Kate kind of. Now again, if it was Shea Gugas Alexander, it'd be a different story, but it's James Wiseman, who wasn't very impressive to me at least, who struggled a lot. And yes, it takes big men three, four years to really come into their own. But if I'm the Pistons, I believe I have a very solid prospect that's ready to make an impact right now in Kate Cunningham. Why wouldn't I want that? Why not start the process? Why not start this winning culture right away? I don't want to wait for James Wiseman to then see if he becomes or not becomes a star you know what i'm saying so that's why i wouldn't do that let me know in the comments below what you guys think which trade was the most fair 
which trade was the most ridiculous i would love to hear all these comments thank you guys so much and i'll see you on the next one